Welcome to Physics Can Be Fun with me, Stephen Thomas. Today I'm going to talk about esters. Now, what do we have here? Do you recognize it? It is cane spirits or alcohol, in science known as ethanol. What do we have here? Vinegar, otherwise known as acetic acid or ethanoic acid. Now, when we mix the two, we get an ester. So when the two combine, and preferably we, it's better when you use concentrated ethanol, concentrated ethanoic acid. To catalyze it, we add a few drops of sulfuric acid, and then we place the whole thing in a warm bath just to keep warm. And bingo, with an few minutes, half an hour, you've got your ester, which is a combination of your alcohol and your acid. Now have a look here. Can you recognize which one is the alcohol and which is the acid from their structural formulae? C-C-O-H. So there's your functional group of the alcohol. So this must be methyl, ethyl, so that's ethanol, with it, it's got two carbons, ethanol, and then look at this, C, C double bond O, O, H. It's stretched out a little bit, but that is your functional group of the acids, of the organic acids. Or, um, so this is our organic acid functional group. So there's your vinegar, and there is your drinking alcohol and when you mix the two with a bit of sulfuric acid which sucks out sulfuric acid's got the property of sucking out water or dehydrating something so in fact this is what is going to happen you're going to take an o an h and an h out and what do you get when you have o h and h you've got water so the sulfuric acid dehydrates the water and then we shift these along and there is our ester. So if we were to write what happened there, we took ethanol plus ethanoic acid and we got an ester. Now, how do we name the esters? Well, this in the middle is the functional group of the ester. So, its functional group, in other words, what makes an ester special or an ester is this C double bond O, O, and that is the functional group where you've got a C double bond O O. So there's your functional group. It can be swapped around. It's still the same functional group. But I've put the alcohol on that side and I've put the acid on this side because that's how we name them. We name them after this chain which is called methyl ethyl. A chain of two carbons is called ethyl space and a chain of two with a C double bond O, o is called ethano eight. So all esters end in O8. So they've got two parts to their name. This chain, which is what we call, when it's a chain of carbons, we call it an R chain. A chain of carbons and hydrogens is an R chain, and that is that part of the ester is joined to the remnant of the acid, and then so there's your functional group C double bond O, and then there would be another R chain on the other side. So there's your functional group, an R chain, an R chain, and that is what makes an ester. 
To say something else, it's really an acid turned inside out. You, you'll recognize that C double bond O, O, that is virtually an acid. So esters, in fact, are isomers of an acid. From any acid, you can actually, from any organic acid, you can make an ester. They are isomers. They have the same numbers of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. Um, and that is what is an isomer. So how do we name it? We take what's left of the alcohol and we name it ethyl. It ends in "-ile". So if this was a one carbon alcohol, it would have been methyl ethanoate. So if this had simply been a one carbon alcohol to start off with, this would have been methyl, methyl ethanoate. So if we'd started with methanol, it would, be, it would have been methyl space ethanoate. And what if we'd started with um, a single carbon acid, then it would have ended up as methyl methanoate, if this, this bit here only had one carbon. Let's just demonstrate what we've done here with marshmallows. Okay, I hope you can see that these pink marshmallows are the carbons, and that's the oxygen. And these matchstick heads are the hydrogen atoms. So if you look at this as the structural formula, each of these matchsticks is pushed in at an angle of 109 degrees. And that is the way organic molecules are built. 109 degrees, 109 degrees, 109 degrees, all the various bonds angles from each other. So there's one pink, one pink, one white. So that's C, C, O, H. So there is your ethanol. Now look at this one. Here is your two carbons. So it is ethan, but it's got a double bond O. See the double bond O, O, H. So this is ethanoic acid because it's got the double bond O, O, H. And what we in fact do is we pull out your O and your H. You pull out your H, join your H there, there's your water molecule, and join your acid to your alcohol. And there, folks, is your ester. So that is what we did there, and here was what was left over, your O, H, and H. So there's your ester, and a water molecule was formed. And then you will find that you get a smell that smells something like nail polish remover, and that is your ester, which in this case, when we mixed ethanol with ethanoic acid, it was ethyl ethanoate, and that is your esters.